Hey guys, welcome to a playthrough gamer video. I am going to play Killzone Shadowfall today, starting off right with the very first mission, right from the get go. So, uh, here we go, I guess, huh? Little cutscene for you guys, and my volume is the too war high. Between the Vectins and the Hellgast ended in seconds. They call it the Terracide. A billion lives lost in the Petrocyte fires that swept Helgen's surface. Reducing it to nothing more than a lifeless rock. In the days that followed, an uneasy truce was negotiated and a settlement was reached. The survivors were to be given refuge on another world. Vecta, home of those responsible for Helgen's destruction. Half of the planet was given over to the survivors. And the Vectans that lived there were forced to leave. This was no longer their home. This was New Helgen. Alright, Chapter 1, The Father. Now, I have not played any Killzone games before this one. I've only thusly heard of them. And I've always heard that they are pretty good, but I've never heard that they're so good that I need to stop everything that I'm doing and buy PS3 just to get these. I've heard that they are pretty good, though. And, uh, and you know, this one, this one seems to be pretty good so far. I like it. I've played the first campaign mission. And I actually got stuck on it and was confused for a while, but other than that, the gameplay is really good. The graphics are outstanding. And uh, it's just a great, great PS4 game to, to own right now, I guess. A lot of people are uh, really enjoying it. The multiplayer, I have put a good, solid couple hours into, and uh, I'm pretty bad at it, but I still like it a lot. And it's weird because first person shooter multiplayers, I'm usually pretty good at. I play, I've play. i played a lot of first person shooter multiplayer modes in my day and uh, for some reason I'm just not as competent as I am usually in this one. For some reason it just doesn't feel as fast paced as say Battlefield. Like I, I don't even feel comfortable uploading any gameplay of me playing multiplayer until I have it down solid because I'm going negative great. most of the time we'll and sometimes I go positive but usually only when I'm sniping. I seem this to be pretty home. good at sniping in it, and it always will be. but you'd um, remember that. yeah, Battlefield 4, that kind of game, like I feel competent enough where I can really upload some gameplay, I've done some really good matches in that game, but this game, it has me, it has me, like, just incompetent and I don't even know, <laughs> the multiplayer, I don't really know why I'm having trouble with it, but I still think that it is a great multiplayer mode, Look, it, uh, it's solid, it has really good graphics, not a lot of multiplayer that I've seen has the graphics as crazy amazing in detail as this like I've seen Crisis 3 and that this game you know gives that game a run for its money uh, in the multiplayer section of things but I think it could use you know an extra touch like a <clears throat> like an extra verticality sort of gameplay it doesn't seem like uh, you can ever really be up super high above anybody like in Battlefield like Battlefield you can be on the top of a skyscraper but anyway this is single player and I'm getting way off topic talking about multiplayer, but, you know, that's, for from some reason now, that seems to be something that games are focusing more on now. It seems almost like 60% of the games are multiplayer, and 40% is campaign. And COD is even more like that, it seems 70-30 for me. And COD, like, 30% campaign, 70% focus on the multiplayer, which, that's being pretty generous. They might even be focusing even more on the multiplayer than that but this game is a nice balance I think it's 50 50 maybe 60 40 multiplayer taking it but the campaign is it's pretty cool I think it runs really well the writings decent and you know for a launch game it's it's as good as it's really gonna get in campaign standards I really don't know how long it is though I've only played the first mission like I said so it seems not that interesting though compared to some other stuff like Halo seems more 
Like I'd rather watch Halo cutscenes than this cut than these cutscenes, but you know, as 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 a game so far, it seems pretty cool, and I don't really think you need to have played the other kill zones to get a grasp on what's happening here. These Nazi-like type, freaking badass soldier things have basically taken over our city, and we want it back. <coughs> My voice keeps cracking. I think I have a cold. I've been coughing a lot. My voice keeps doing this weird thing where it sort of... I think I'm losing it, maybe. Because it's, uh... Because it sort of goes... You know? <laughs> Fat shake? <laughs> this is so weird, though. This is the weirdest beginning of a game. And it's... It, I, I've seen this kind of thing happen before, too, but... I feel so short. It's so weird. I mean, everybody's, like, towering over me. Because I'm a kid, but... I mean... There was an agreement. I hate feeling we short in a game, it's annoying. Hey, buddy, I don't like it any more than you do, but until you get to the wall, it's their rules. Like I said, you're gonna need some help. You can get us to the wall safely. Look, the South Crossing is closed, so we're gonna have to take the long way. We've wasted enough time here already. What's your name? Sinclair. I'm Michael Kellen. This is my son, Lucas. We're gonna go back outside. I want you to stay close to me and don't make any noise, okay? You're doing great. Thanks, Dad. I'm trusting you. Dad's a smart man, kid. Let's go. Alright, let's head out of here then. You jokers. I feel like I haven't been paying much attention to what's happening, but to be fair, I have seen this before. So it's a little bit less interesting than it was the first time because I already sort of know what to do. Leave it to me, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I definitely have a cold. Holy crap. Boy, my throat's getting a little itchy. Just let me do the thing that I need to do already. I think I'm supposed to be standing over here. Yep, I was. The game's all confused. Jesus, what with the extreme close-ups? It's creepy. CGI faces throw me off. Scare the crap out of me. Like, did you, did you ever see the last Twilight movie with the baby? That CGI face is the most frightening thing ever put to film, and I can't even say... Saying put to film is even a stretch, because I, I don't even know if that really qualifies as a film. Alright, looks like I'm removing the plank so they can bust through. Jeez, you need to calm down with being too loud. You're gonna alert something. Oh, told you, see? A drone. You're trying to kill us. Your fault, Dad. Nice going. Let's go. Keep it low. Alright. I'm I already am keeping it low. I'm a freaking midget for crying out loud. Look at how freaking short I am. Staring right at me. How could you not see me? No. I'll take you. Oh yeah, because that wasn't loud enough to alert the other two that are less than five meters away or five feet away. What are you doing? Take no chances. No, I didn't sign up for this. No, you signed up for my help. This is it. Worry about your conscience when we're on the other side. Come on, we're not far from the wall. Hey, it's a dead guy. I keep trying to sprint, but at the beginning of the game, you can't. Whoa. Look at that, man. Forgot about that view. The city is sweet looking. Alright, listen up. Just up ahead. There's still a lot of danger. Wow. Wait here while I check things out. We're almost there. I'll stand where you want me to stand. <laughs> Whoa, this is an awkward moment of silence. Whoa. Whoa. Pick me up, bitch. Pick me up. It's gonna kill me. What are you doing? What are you, 
Hurry up! Thank you. See, this is what you get. This is what you get for not being quick enough. Lucas, stay behind me. Wait! Wait! We were promised safe passage. Please, I've got my son with me. We're unarmed. Hey, stop! Stop! You can't do this. This is our home, too! No! Dad. Oh, Sinclair. Where were you that whole time, man? What's wrong with him? Why is he moving? What do you think? Just got, I mean, maybe he just got shot. I don't know. It's a possibility. What's gonna happen to me? Well, it looks like you're gonna have to stick with me, kid. Come on. We'll be okay once we get to the other side of the wall. Come on. Alright, looks like Sinclair is gonna take me to paradise. That sounded weird. What's a different word for that? He's gonna take me to safety. There we go. That's that's PC. <laughs> Why did I say paradise? I'm sorry. Sinclair, take me to safety, buddy. He's my new father figure now. Pretty cliche, but oh, God, this is full of cliches. I forgot about that. Should be proud. I know if your father was here, he'd feel the same way. All our people want is to be kept safe. That means taking the fight to the Hellgast. Does it now? Crossing the wall. No matter what they do. Still Vector over there. One day you're gonna get it back. For all of us. Uh oh, looks like I've been captured recently. The Shadow Marshal program is honored to have you. You know where you have I'm to getting go. short on time. Hopefully, it's able to and you know what do this cutscene. You're let out on a wall in chains, in the back over your head, paraded, mocked, and then executed. All right, I may have to stop the video here. Don't worry. I will continue right from where this left off, but I am running very low on time. So I'll see you guys on the next Playthrough Gamer video, hopefully. Uh, stick around for part two of my Killzone Shadowfall campaign experience gameplay. This has been a Playthrough Gamer video. Please like, subscribe, comment at your leisure, and I will see you on the next one.